This is Gemara Baba Basra Daf Ayin Dalit. It's today's learning. <clears throat> and the learning for the month of Ella has been generously sponsored by a close friend of the Daf, Zachos Aliyah's Neshama, for his mother, Esther Rezel Basra Mayor, Bisiyata de Shemayo. The learning of the entire Chabura as we've embarked on the fifth in Barak, the famous stories of Avar Chano should bring Esther Rezel Basra Mayor. To a higher and higher place in Gan Eden Shalmailam, closer to the Kisei HaKavoid. The Omar Rabbah Bar Barachana were middle of all these interesting stories. This is the tenth story. We're 13 lines to the bottom of Ain Gibblam and Bez. The first word of line is Zimna. Zimna Chada because Lina Bimid Baro says Rabbi Barachana one time I was going in the desert with Chazinan, Danu Avza de Shanti Gadfayu. And I saw certain geese of Avze that were what? Deshanti Gadfayu, that their feathers fell out. Misham Nayu. Why? Because they were so fat. Kanagdi Nachli Demishcha. Mitu Sayu. And there was oil dripping and flowing between them. And Aminaluhu says, Abrahana, these incredibly fat geese <clears throat> that the feathers have fallen off, and there was just rivers of oil flowing beneath them, I said to them, Islam b'gavaychu chalki la'alma da'asi, ask Rabbi Rechana, do you have a portion in the next world? Chada dali gadfa. One raised his wing and responded, Chadi dali atma, and one raised it to its thigh. Ki asa l'kamei derev al-azhar amrali asini Yisrael, lita in aleya sadin. One of them raised a wing, one of them raised a thigh, which shot over here is, wants to show that the Sadiqim will eat the wing, want to show that the Sadiqim will eat the thigh of such a fatty, amazing bird, animal, goose. Says the Gemara, Kiyasad Rav Lazar, Amar Lik, when I came for Rav Lazar, he said, Kalal Yisrael are going to be giving a din because of them. That what? That these geese, they spend their whole life having more and more fat just so that the Sadiqim will be able to consume them. There'll be no more suffering. So too, those who pursue, unfortunately, the wrong pursuits. Continues the Gemara. One time I was going in the Midbar. And a certain Arab was with us, he would take earth from the ground and he would smell it. And this Arab, he was able to tell from the smell of the earth where it came from. It came from a certain place. And this earth is from a different place. Amri Le, we said to him, Come Rechakina on me, Mayo. If you're able to tell where the earth is from, how far are we from water? Vamar Lan and the Arab responded, I believe I offer you with some earth. If you don't leave Vamar Lan, come the Parsa. We're eight Parsais away from earth. Tani Nan, we have been alone. We did the same thing at a later place, and we gave him some of the earth. And now we're landing Rachina to Los Abarsi. Now he says we're only three parsays away. So we tested this area by switching on the two dirts. But yet he was always able to tell that this earth came from one location, this earth came from another location. And therefore, one is eight parsays away, the water. And then the water was closer, it was three parsays away. And the twelfth story in the last line, I'm really ta akli lach. Rabbi Rachana said that the Arab said to me, Ta akli lach misay midbar. Come, I'll show you those that died during the forty years of the midbar. And Klai saw the chazatino. I went and I saw the dummy command dim dimi vasmi, and they looked the Klai Yisrael looked like they were they were intoxicated. Vigani up arcade, and they were lying on their backs. So this Arab merchant is showing Rabbi Rachan the place where the Yidin that perished in the 40 years of the Midbar were, and says, Rabbi Rachan, they looked like they were intoxicated, lying on their backs. Rabbi Zakifa, 
Barachay, if one of the knees was raised, the Chaminei of one of them, Vayel Tayoye Tutei, and the Arab went underneath the knee, Kirach of Gamla, Zakifa Rumchei, when he was riding a donkey, he was able to go underneath his leg, Vizakif Rucha, his spear held up right, Velo Nagi Bey, he didn't touch the leg of this dead person, showing the incredible size how of these of those that were nifter in the midbar. Paski Chada Karna continues the Gemara. The water of Rabbi do he cut off one corner to the chilta of the garment which had tzitzis on it. The chamirai of lavi mistagilan, and we couldn't move it. Amar Ali the Arab said, "Don't shakilta midi minayu." Said the Arab, wait, maybe the reason that they couldn't move, they were stuck over there, is because someone took something. So the animals weren't able to move, says the Gemara. Ahadre, so the Arab says, return it. The Gamiri, the man, the Shako, Minayu, says the Arab, we have a Messira, that if you take something from these Mesei Midbar, Lomis Tagiyu, Leon, you cannot move on. So I went, I returned the piece of the garment. Then we went on. So Rabbi Rachana says, later when I came to the Rabbanan, Amruli, they said to me, Kol Abra, Kol Abba Chamra. Every Abba is as unintelligent as a Chamar, a donkey. Kol Abba Rachana, Sechsa. And every Abba Rachana is a fool. L'may Elchus of the Achi. Why did he do what you did? Why did he go and cut off the gar- corner of the garment? You did it, what? To know whether we pass the Vishama Yisrael. And you wanted to know what the Mesei Midbar's titties were made out of. You know you could have done, you could have counted the threads. And from there you would have been able to return it before you returned the garment back to the dead person. So it was foolish that which you did. You tried to accomplish something, but it was foolish that you didn't get there, says the Rabbanan to Rabbi Rechano. Amr Lei. So Rabbi Rechano continues and he says to Sarah, Mershon Tach Vilach, Har Sinai, come and show me Har Sinai. Also, Chazad Adjale Akrabah. He went and he saw scorpions around it. And these scorpions were standing like white donkeys. Shamati Baskal Shamaris. And famously, Rabbi Rukhani hears a Baskal. He hears emanating from our Sinai. Oh, Elish and Shvati, woe is to me that I made a Shvuah that I put Klaes on to Gaulis. Vachshash and Shvati, but now that I made the Gaulis, me, Mefar Ali, who's going to annul the oath, says the Baskal. So Rabbanan again responded to Rabbi Rechana that you were in such an incredible opportunity and you were so foolish. You should have responded to the Baskal, which could have potentially brought the Gula. Why didn't Rabbi Rechana do it? So Rabbi Rechana was unclear. Maybe it was the Shvu of the Mabel. He didn't want to bring another Mabel. Rabbanan, but according to Rabbanan and Cain, if it was the Shua of the Mabal, Ayali Lamli, why would Hashem say Ayali, which was a telltale sign that it was a Shua, not to bring the Gula. And he should have been me for that Shua. Amar Li, Rabbi Khan has said that the Arab said to me, Ta'achvilach, Bli de Kairach. Let me show you those that were swallowed up by Kairach. As I dray busy. They saw two cracks in the ground. Kamafki Kutra, that was so mook was coming out of it. Shakal Gabba da Amra, they took wool shearings. Bamshina Bimaya, and they soaked it in water. Udatsite, Rasha de Romcha, and they put it out of a sphere. Vaili Asam, and they put it into the crack, into the ground in which the smoke was coming out of it. Chiapech, Ave Echrech Echruchi. When they took out the spear that had this wool that was wet around it, it was singed. Omar Li, so the Arab said, Atzizamai Shamas, listen, what do you hear? Shamata Davi Amrim, you hear that the those swallowed up by Kairach that are saying, 
And they are mistaken referring to themselves for unto Hukairach Vadasai. Amar Ali Rabbi Khan continues with a 12 15 story. Close to us in Yamim Adal again in every 30 days. Close to us in Yamim. Madal again in the Hacha Kibasa Bekalachas. Every 30 days, Gehenim comes back over here. Uh, excuse me, it's still in the middle of the story with, with Kairach. That what the Arab says, Koltas in Yamin, Mahadli Ghanim Lacha. Every thirty days they shake of Ghanim, they bring Kairach Vadas over here, Vamri Hachi, Maisha Vitarasa Yamas, the Hin Vadai, and that's when you're able to hear Kairach Vadasi saying how Maisha was right and they were mistaken. Amr Ali continues, Amr Khan of the Arab said to me, Talk with the Khaikh, then Ashki Aro Rakia. Come, I'll show you the place. The heaven and earth touch. Shekalti adadi. Shekalti lesil toi. Tenachta bekavta derekia. Take a bread basket. They put it on the window of heaven. Place where it touch. Adam et silna be'isa. Loi ashkechei. And after they dive in, I went, but I couldn't find the basket. I mean, Allah, you could gone to the There's gone to him. Bamrali, hi, gal, gal, derekiu. No, there's no gun of him. This is the gal, gal, derekiu. This is the heavenly sphere that is rotating in the basket. Went. The other, and not the other, and not the So he had to wait till he'll come back tomorrow morning. Of course, difficult to understand with modern day science, but let's move on. Rav Yechanan, a 16 story Mishtai. If you can untold us in the Chada one time, I because the love is finta. I was going on a boat with Chazina and Ahu Kavro. We saw certain fish, the Avkil Reishay. Me, Maya, they were taking the head out of water. With the Maya, they nayu, Kitre, Siara. And the eyes of the fish are like two moons. When up it's Maya, start the Zimne, and water came out of the nostrils. Kitre, Mavri, the Sura, like the two rivers of Sura. Rav Safra Mishtai Rav Safra now tells the stories in the Chadei of Kazan of Svinta. Chazina Ahu Kavra. We were going in a boat and I saw a certain fish. Kavke Lereshe Miyama that took its head out of water. Bavli Karnei V'chaki Galei. It had horns. And engraved upon the horns was what? Ano Bari Yakala. I am a small <coughs> creation. Ano Bari Yakala Shabiyam. The smallest creation in the sea. And 300 parsois long, and now going to the mouth of the Leviathan, which of course will be around Bismana Mashiach. That fish is the sea goat, searching for his food and has horns. That is the special creature in the ocean. Rav Yechanan says the Yamara Mishta, three lines, four lines on the bottom, and the Chada one time because of his finta. It's going in a boat, the Chazina who cartelisa. Says Rav Yechanan, I was going in a boat, I saw a certain chest, have you come, make me, ba, avanim toy voice. Umar Gali, I said, I precious stones and pearls. Vahadre la, mine de Kavra, and is surrounded by a fish called Kar, the Mikri Karsha. Nachis, they went down as we turn over to Ayin Dalem Ibeis. Barim they brought a diver down over there to find, to pick up the treasure of Ragash Ubayi, the Shamte, but the fish saw the diver there and it wanted to cut off Shamte la Atamayi, the thigh of this diver. Shadi Zika de Chala. So the diver threw a bottle of vinegar at it. Nachis, Nafik, Bas Kala. And the smell of the vinegar caused the fish to swim away. Nafak Baskal Amrlan Mai Islacha Bahadi Kartalita. A Baskal came out and says, What do you have to do with the chest of the Debisu Dravachinina Ben Daisa, the wife of Khina Ben Daisa, the Sida, the Shadi Techelta Bal is Takila Alma, who will keep in it the Khilas for the Tzadikim of the next world. We continue six lines down with another story of Rav Yehuda, Dalsi Rav Yehuda. Says the Gemara, Hindu Yamishtoye. 
Rav Yehuda from the Hindu, from Ethiopian, related the following. Zimna Chada one time. Have a son of a sit down to go on above a clean ahu. Evan Tava says, Rav Yehuda, I saw a certain precious stone, Davi Hadar Tanina. A precious stone that was surrounded by a sea monster. Nochizbar Amuroi La Soi. They sent the diver down. Asa Tanina. And again, Kobay Lemivla Lalas Vinte. A sea monster came and wanted to swallow up the ship. Asa Ipash. Kinasa, a raven came, Baskilarishe, cut off the head of us, the sea monsters. There's so much blood that the water changed into blood. Another sea monster came, Shakla Taliale. Another sea monster came, took the stone and hung it on the den monster of Achaya and brought it back to life. Hadar Asay Kabai Balan. Hadar Asi, Kabbalah Bilal Svinta came again and wanted to swallow up the ship. Hadar Asi, Sifta Baske. So a bird now came and cut off its head. The Reishi Shakle, the Huavin Tava took that precious stone, shot to the Svinta, and threw this precious stone onto the boat. Vavihani Sifra Malicha Badan. We had some salty birds. Asvino Luayu, the diver, put the stones on top of these birds. Shakle, Barkle, Bahade. They came alive again. They took the stone and and they flew off with it again. Obviously, many deeper shot him to these stories. Tanu Rabbanan, we're on the third wide line. Tanu Rabbanan, Maisa, Rabbi Lazar Yeshua. So those of Yeshua, Shaya Bain, Bissi, and they're coming in a boat by Rabbi Lazar Yeshan. Rabbi Lazar was sleeping. Yashin, Rabbi Yeshua, here was awake. He said, Hey, Rabbi Yeshua. Rabbi Yeshua trembled. The nigger of Elazar, of Elazar woke up. Amar lei, Rabbi Lazar said to Rabbi Yeshua, "Why is it Yeshua? What's going on? The man is Lazar. Why are you shaking?" Amar lei, Ma'ar gadol, Rishav yom. I saw Ma'ar gadol. I saw a great light in the sea. Amar lei, Shemay inav shal levias and Rita. Maybe saw the eyes of the levias and the sev ina kifa afeya shachar. Amar Avashi, a twenty-first story. Amar lei, Una bar Nelson is in the chadik of Zina b'mitzvah. It's going in the desert. I was going on the desert. We had to meet with us. We opened it up and we cleaned it out. We cut it open. We put it on the herbs. We're about to roast the meat. While we were getting wood to make a fire. The, the meat went back to its original form. And we roasted it all whole. We came back 12 months later to that place. We found that the same coals were still lit. We were still glowing. Amemar explained what was going on over there. That herb was Samtara. And their coals were of Rosim wood. Some special coals that were able to stay, lost, stay lit for a very prolonged period of time. Continues the Gemara of Yivra Lekemes Sataninim, talking about the creation of the Leviathan, we're about 12 lines down. First word line is Halekem, Hashem created as Sataninim, says the Gemara. Hagadalim, Hachat Argimu, Arzila Diyama. This is the Azila of the sea. Rav Yechon Amar Zelav Yasan. Nachash Bariyam. Zelav Yasan. Nachash Bariyach. This is the Yasan, the straight snake. Al Kasan. Excuse me. Zelav Yasan. Nachash Bariyach. Rav Yasan. Nachash Akal Sain. And the Lav Yasan, the curved snake. Shnam Rav Yem. Uyiv Kadashem Acharbai. Hakashem. Different incredible creations that Hashem created. Amar Rav Yehuda continues. Rav Yehuda talking about the creation of the Yasan. Amar Rav Kamash Barakish Baruch Hu Ba'Elamai Zachar Nekeva Barab. Every entity that Hashem creates, Hashem creates both male and female. Af Lev Yasan Nachash Bariach Lev Yasan Nachash Akal Sain Zachar Nekeva Barab. There's a male and a female. The Lamayim is Kachin Zelazam. And if these two creations would get together and have relations, Machrivin Kolanim Kulai. 
who would destroy the whole world. So Masa Kadesh Baruch what did Hashem do? Siri says that Zachar, Hashem castrated the male of Yoslan so that it cannot have it cannot impregnate the female of and I gave and I killed in a cave of Malchala Sadiqim and it salted in the middle of Yasuf Sadiqim La Salafa Ishan Hamar Bhargis Sataninim at Sherbaya Bahima is Bari Elif Zakhar Nikiva Baram and even the Behemois of a thousand hills, Hashem came a male and female of the comes out as a Makamakala Kulai. And similarly, if these animals would get together, it would destroy the whole world. Masakarish Baruch was here since Zakhar was seen on a cave. Castrated the male and it cooled off, made the female unable to have children. And saved for the Sadiqim in the future. Excuse me. Says the Gemara Hasanam the Sarasi the Zachal is Hanil and Akiva. So ask the Gemara why, by the love Yasan, did Hashem do the same thing? Why did Hashem have to kill the Akiva? Just cool it off, make sure it doesn't have to get, be able to have children. Doug and Preeti says the Gemara, and therefore, whatever this means, but the love Yasan was just cooled off, unable to have children, the Doug and the fish are so parrots, they would figure a way how to do it. But Levit Ibcha says the Gemara, so why did Hashem do the opposite? Hashem could have killed the male of Yasan and sterilized the female. Says Some say, no, the salty Nekeva of Yasan meat is better. So that's what Hashem wanted to do for the Sadiqim. Another shot is, Kiva Tachsev, the Apostlech says, of Yasan says, Tzartz L'Sachik Boy, Hashem created the Yasan to have fun with it. But Nekeva, Lav Ayrach Ara, it's inappropriate, whatever that means, that Hashem is sporting and having fun with the animal. It's inappropriate if it would be in the Kiva. Lav Ayrach Ara. Chanayim the Milch L'Nekeva, Kavra, Hachanayim the Milch L'Nekeva. Says the Gemara, by these behemoths, these other creatures, why did Hashem not salt the Nekeva? And says the Gemara, Kavra M'liach Malia, salted fish is good, but Mr. M'liach Loi Malia, it's not as good, and therefore that's why Hashem did not go down that road, preserving it for the Tzadikim. And we have another discussion over here about 20 lines of the bottom. First word line is Amar Avud, Amar Rav, Vishash Abik, and Shikubar, Chalibar, Sa'ilam. Another discussion about the creation of the world. Amar Lai, Shem wanted to create the world. Shem said, Lissar Shalyam, to the minister at the sea. Patach Bicha, Balak, Kome, Mashavel, open your mouth and swallow up all the waters of the world. Amar the Fundra, Rabbi Neshela. Dai Shem, Rabbi Shalim, Ya, Dai. Is it not enough, says this creation, creator, 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 Creation in the sea. Diamond Shem Bishali is not enough if I can swallow my own water. Miyad Ba'at Ba'i Vahar Gai. Hashem kicked this creature and killed it. Shinemar. Kacharega Yom Zunasa Machat Raf. Amar Rav Yitzchak says Rav Yitzchak Shami Na Sarah Shalyam Rav Shemai. The Sarah Shalyam, his name is Rav. El Mali Mayim Chasin. I said, not like the water covered of ankle barrier. Cholam and Berecha Shinemar. Layer for the Shlizu Cholar Kachai. The guy there, Kemayim Liam Mechasim. I'll take with the Yom Mechasim. Elo the Sar Shal Yom Mechasim. That's how powerful this creation is. We'll stop over here. I'll pick it up from Amar of Yudah Amar Av. Ten lines on the bottom of the next year. Siyata Dishmaya.